Volume two, number seven. Now that back to school is in full swing, everything has gone really well for Elijah and Jenny. Now that the kids are growing up and ready to tackle the new challenges of the first week of school, they had their traditional sushi and rice on their first day of school. They were talking about all the new things that they learned the first week of school at dinner. It was so exciting to hear the story. Elijah was talking about science, especially his new favorite subject and his new favorite teachers. Same with Jenny. Jenny talked about dance class, especially how she really enjoyed class again. Grace was breastfeeding the baby in the living room and then placed the baby in the bassinet after she was finished cleaning up the baby. Grace was relaxed, said, Michael, wow, it's so nice to see Grace relax after all the challenges we've just hurdled, as Michael was going to relax as well. Mom and Dad were there as a sole support as Jackie was working that night. Jessica was going to come in to relieve Jackie. Marcy, who has been working closely as a new hire, as a new nanny, was being very helpful. It was nice to have Marcy around. Karen as well, as a relief. Ooh, it's good to have extra relief. Thank God for Miss Jackson working so much to help us out. So Michael was relaxing with Kate, Jackie and talking just amongst themselves in the kitchen as they were cleaning up after dinner. It's so nice to get the kids ready for bed early because they have to get their homework done. Yeah, they're working on the computer right now, said Jackie. Okay, so if they need any help, we'll be there to help them out. Elijah said, I don't need any help, Mom and Dad. I'm good. I'm doing really well in this class. This is my favorite subject, science. I'm not surprised, said Mom. I would think that's your favorite class anyway. I kind of figured that, said Jenny. You do really well in science. Yeah, that is my favorite subject, said Elijah. Well, as they got their homework finished, it was time to get ready for bed. Okay, give me a kiss. Good night, said Mom. And Dad said the same thing. Okay, uh, Miss Yokoshoto was there as well. Yes, give Grandma a kiss. Okay, Grandma Adrian, I'll give you a kiss. Good night, even though it's still early. What do you mean it's still early? It's eight at eight o'clock. It's time to get to bed. By the time you get to sleep, it'll be eight thirty. Said Grandma Adrian, and Uncle Grandma Grandma Grandpa Tom. Oh yeah, that's true. By the time we get to bed, it'll be eight thirty. You need to get up because you get up early. Remember that. Miss Yokoshoda said, oh, yes, children, you have to listen to your grandparents. Remember that. Remember the times we had over the summer. We had a great Labor Day weekend. Wasn't it fun? Yes, that was so much fun. This whole week, this whole summer was fun. Even though we didn't get to go on vacation, that's not okay. Mom was pregnant the whole summer. We will make up for it, I promise, said Grace. As soon as the baby's a little older, okay? Yes, Michael said. We will make up for it as Jackie and Michael walked in the door. As Jackie got the kids upstairs and got them ready for bed, mom and dad followed, and along with Grace and Michael and Miss Yokoshoto. They kissed them goodnight and said their bedtime prayers and got them ready for bed. Okay, let's say our bedtime prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and this night. Help us rest easy tonight. And thank you for everything that you have done for our family to get us through this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen, said Jenny. All right, good night, children. As everybody kissed each other, good night. They went to their prospective beds and went to sleep. It's good that they can get to sleep so quickly, said Grace. I wish I could go to sleep and just nosedive into my bed right now. Having a baby, I don't have that luxury right now. I have to be up 
all times of the day and different hours of the night, breastfeeding, changing diapers, etc. I know, said Michael, it's okay. I'm here to support you. But the baby's sleeping. Let's get downstairs because the baby's in the bassinet. Okay, who's watching the baby? I think Marcy's watching the baby for me. Okay, good. Let's get downstairs anyway. So Marcy was watching the baby as they were the upstairs, tucking the kids to bed. Thank you, Marcy, for watching the baby. Oh, no problem, said Marcy. I have to go anyway, so it's my time to leave. Okay, and I think Jessica's coming in too. Jessica was just coming in to relieve Jackie and Marcy. Okay, so it's Jessica tonight and who else? I think Karen's going to come in tonight as a relief. So it's Jessica and Karen tonight. Karen doesn't have to come in, I don't think, because Jessica's the only relief that we need. Okay, well, we'll tell Karen. If Karen wants to stay, that's okay, because we do have an extra spare room. It's up to Karen. Okay. So Karen comes in, and Karen says, well, I'm here for the night shift. If you need me, I'll stay. If you don't, I can go, too. Um, let me see. Let's talk to Jessica. Jessica, do you need an extra person? Um, depending on how you feel about it, well, we'll just try it out for the night and then see how it works. You never know. It's always good to have two people on duty just in case. Okay, so we'll just try it out for the night, Karen. Okay, so being this is the first time that they had actually had two people on duty, we'll see how this works. So they went ahead and did it. They had two nannies on duty just in case because of the load that they had now with five children. Okay, so we're going to head to bed early tonight, and Mom and Dad decided to go ahead and leave. Miss Yokoshoda decided to go downstairs. Okay, so school tomorrow morning. Miss Jackson said that she would pick up the kids in the morning for school. Tomorrow's Thursday's meeting, so I have to be there early, so I'm going to get up early, Grace. If there's anything you need, just let me know, okay? Okay. I'm going to head to bed early as I need to be up for the meeting. Okay, so Grace took the baby and brought the baby upstairs as Michael was in bed already. Okay, so it was really the end of the night and everybody was already gone. It was pretty much everybody, but Grace, Grace was up breastfeeding the baby. Oh boy, Grace was so tired as she wrapped the baby up and cleaned the baby up and changed the baby's diaper and went to bed. The baby was fast asleep. This time the baby actually slept through the night, so that was a good night. As Grace woke up in the morning, Michael was already gone. Michael was at the office getting ready for the meeting. It was already 10 o'clock at that point and Michael was talking to Steve Clark. So how's everything going at the house? Everything's starting to come together gradually, said Michael. Just like here at the office, things are starting to gradually come together. That's good, said Michael. I'm glad to hear that things are gradually coming together because, you know, it just takes time to adjust. That's like anything. Well, with all the changes, you know, it's like anything. It's an adjustment period, you know. Oh, has it been an adjustment period? Wow. I never realized what an adjustment period was like. Both have been big adjustment periods. Yeah, really. But I'm just taking it in stride, said Michael to Stephen. Are we going to have an early meeting? Yeah, I decided to move the meeting to around 1 o'clock instead. So as everybody was getting ready after lunch, they knew that the meeting was going to be after lunch. So it was a better time for Michael because he could get out early. So everybody went on their lunch breaks at uh, between 11 and 12 and 1 o'clock. And they came to the 1 o'clock meeting instead of 2 o'clock. So about 
12.45, Michael was in the break room with Steve. They were talking. And they were just talking over coffee. So what do you think you're going to say? Well, I have all my notes together. I wrote them this morning. I'm just basically going over the quarterly report and some of the things that we went over in October. Just general stuff. Not much to say because it is, in fact, October report that's important that we want to go over some of the numbers. Even though it's not October officially, I just want to get prepped for October. Okay, so October is going to be the big report. Yeah, pretty much, even though it's still September. I'm waiting for October's numbers, basically. So it's just going to be general stuff, not much. It's like these weekly reports really are just an overview of what goes on weekly. Okay. I understand. So there's not going to be much in the ways of just anything detailed. This is going to be an overview of what's going on weekly. Okay, I get it, said Stephen. So I'll just sit back and listen. Okay, that's great. That's perfect. Yeah, just take a lower profile. Just let me handle the meeting because I've done these meetings weekly. So they walk into the conference room and everybody's pretty much sitting settled in, ready for the meeting. Lisa Anderson and Michael Carrington are ready with their notes as well. And they hand them to Michael with any additional information that they Michael might need. So Michael reads over their notes. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Michael Carrington. That's helpful. And so does Harrison. Any other information that I might need to add to the conference? Okay, thank you so much, Harrison. I appreciate that. You're welcome, said Harrison. Okay, so this meeting is about to begin in a few minutes. If there's any additional notes or any questions, Miguel also hands over some notes about the automotive department. Some just personal things that may be obvious to address. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Miguel. I appreciate that. I don't usually get notes from the automotive department. That's very helpful. Miguel Perez is a very helpful person that Michael admires a lot. Okay, great. All right, so we're about to get this meeting started. As you know, I'm Michael, the president of Smith & Motors and Rentals. As you know, they both locations have been under renovations and new changes. As the new VP of operations is Steve Clark. He was just repositioned as he works underneath me. He does assist me as he will be the, in this new role. He takes orders and underneath me. He's in senior leadership. So now that he's in his senior position, he also works with both Lisa Anderson and Michael Carrington, and also Harrison. So if anybody has any questions what his role is, you come to me directly or go to HR. Now with that said, his position is he's an investor. And he invested into this company. So he is helping me get this company back on its feet. And by expanding this business, this company has gone through some renovations, as you can tell. Oh, just a little, said uh, Vanessa. It's gone through some slight changes. I like the new plants, by the way. It's really a nice touch. Oh, yeah, the outside looks beautiful, by the way. The lobby is gorgeous. Oh, and I like the landscaping, said Carol. It looks gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much, said Steve. It was well done, said Carol. Oh, by the way, anybody have any compliments? If we get any compliments or any suggestions, please send it to HR. <laughs> Carol laughed. She said, yeah, exactly. Send it our way. We need some more compliments. Anyway. So 
this is just an overview of what's gone on this week. Any any improvements or any positive changes that we see? We always like progress reports. So far, the progress has completely been a turnaround. We've seen a big turnaround. The numbers are looking good. As you can tell by the outside traffic, it's getting louder and louder. We're waiting for October's quarterly report. So we just wait and see how things go as far as October's numbers. So this is going to be a real general meeting. Until October, we really don't know what the outcome would be, but we promise you that there's been a turnaround. We've seen positive changes, and we're looking forward to seeing what happens in the quarterly report. So that's really all that's going on. It's just progress right now. We're seeing a huge turnaround, and I'm looking at Miguel's report. Miguel is reporting that everything is looking positive with the opening of the new location of the garage. He's seeing bigger, more better service operations are going real well in automotive department. We're seeing more service oriented opportunities for both sectors. So that's looking good. So that's positive. That's what we want to hear. As far as Lisa's report, she says that she's seeing a positive outcome in the office. We're seeing temps wanting to stay, so we're looking to hire, and she's helping me look at new hires. And that's what Michael also confirmed, too. So we're looking to hire the temps as permanent um, um, employees. So that's it for the report. Anybody have any questions? So not a question, but a comment. So you're looking to hire the temps as permanent employees? Possibly, yes. Okay. That's all I wanted to ask. Okay, anybody else have any questions? No, just typical weekly report. Can I get a coffee? Yeah, go get a coffee. Anybody else want to stick around for any questions or any comments? Go ahead and the rest of you are free to go. Have a nice rest of your day. Thank you, Michael. It's nice talking to you. It's nice talking to you. It's nice talking to you too, Mike. Okay, as the meeting wraps up, Michael is relieved that this meeting's over because it is his weekend to have the Friday off. So, Steve, what do you think? Everything really went well. That was a good report. I really enjoyed it. I like how you run these meetings. Yeah, thank you. I do try to keep on top of things. I think by keeping on top of these meetings, it helps keep everybody in the know, you know. Yeah, it does help. It helps people stay abreast of what's going on daily. Yeah, I understand. That's exactly what I try to do. Besides, I can't think about doing monthly reports. Monthly reports are hard to do. There's just too much going on. So what do you plan on doing the rest of the day? Well, I was planning on doing something nice for my wife, but... I know she's always tired, so I'd like to let, leave her alone and let her rest. I like to stick around here at the office and get as much done, but there's not a whole lot that needs to be done until that quarterly report. Well, we have some projects we could work on here if you want to do anything here. What projects do you want to work on? Well, I just thought maybe we could think about how we can bring more opportunities to the employees. Oh, okay. So what are you thinking about? I'm thinking about like hiring these people that are, or the people that are already working here, how we can advance some of the employees. Okay. So people like, well, Vanessa, she's been working in the office department for a while, maybe advance her. Okay. That's one person I could consider. So what kind of position would she advance to? Maybe assistant manager. Oh, that's a good opportunity. So why don't we talk to her about moving her up to an assistant management position? Or maybe management. Management would be good. She would skip over being assistant manager to management. I would rather her be an assistant manager first 
and then move her into management. I think it would be too much to move her into management right away. Let's move her into assistant management. Okay, I think that'd be a great start. So let's talk to her today and sit in with, you can sit in with me and then we'll talk to her today. So Lisa Anderson is called and paged into Michael's office. Lisa Anderson to Michael Smithson's office. As Stephen sits back in the office with Michael Smithson, Lisa Anderson comes in. Hi, Michael, what's going on? Well, we have an idea. What's the idea? Well, we were thinking about uh, promoting, uh, not Lindsay, um, who, who were we gonna promote? Um, Vanessa Harrington. Oh, Vanessa Harrington. Okay. We were going to promote her to assistant management. Oh, okay. That would be a great position for her. Do you want to sit in and, or do you want to, you know, invite her into the office and sit in on the promotion? Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be great. I'll go get her. So Lisa Anderson goes and gets Vanessa and somebody to cover Vanessa for the time being. Okay, we'll just sit and wait. Okay, Stephen said. So they wait for Vanessa Harrington to come in. Hi, Vanessa. How? What's going on? Oh, well, we have an opportunity for you. Okay, great. So just take a seat and we're going to sit down and lay out the opportunity for you. Since you've been working the office clerk for, I don't know, three years, right? Yeah, for a while at least. I can't remember, three years maybe. Well, we're offering you a promotion and it's basically as an office manager. Office manager? Really? Yes. We were gonna offer you the office assistant but I think we just decided to just go with the office manager. Office management position, and here's the details of your promotion. You get benefits and promotion and vacation pay. Oh my gosh, me? So I won't be working office, front office? No, you will be working the office front, the front office, but you'll be working at a light, lighter in a lighter position. You'll train somebody to do what you do now. So we're gonna have to have somebody fill your position. Well, who would you recommend that could work your position? Lindsay, Lindsay, uh, Lindsay Smith. Okay, Lindsay Smith can work your position? Yeah, she would be fine. She knows how to do my job. Okay, so Lindsay, you would train Lindsay to just basically take over your role. Yeah, that would be perfect. She's personable, she's outgoing, she's friendly, she's kind, you know, that kind of person, said Vanessa. Okay, all right, so this is what's gonna happen. You can basically have her work your role and then basically work it out that she's taken over your position. Okay, sounds good, besides, by the way, I'm engaged. Oh, you are? Yeah. We're getting married pretty quickly. We're going to Las Vegas. Oh, wow. That's so great, said Stephen. When's the marriage? When's the wedding? Well, we're getting married this weekend. Oh, wow. So you're going to get married this weekend? Yeah, we're just going to Las Vegas and getting it over with. So my new name is going to be Lisa Vanessa Miller. Oh, wow. So... <laughs> Isn't that ironic? That used to be Lisa's former last name. Yeah. So you're going to have to call me Vanessa Miller. Oh, wow. Vanessa Miller. I like it. So what made you decide to just get engaged? Well, I've been with my boyfriend for a long time. We can't afford a wedding. So we just decided to just get hitched. Get hitched. Oh, that's great. Excellent. So you're going to get married and get hitched. Okay. How do your parents feel about this? Well, they support it because they know that we're 
you know, just making ends meet. Well, you won't be making ends meet anymore. No, we won't. This came at a perfect time. This is excellent for me and my hus my future husband. What's his name? Rick. Oh, that's great. How old is he? He's well, he's 32. And I, I'm 28, so it works out for both of us. Oh, that's great. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. So we have to get you a wedding gift? Yeah, you have to get me a wedding gift, Michael. I don't expect everybody to get me wedding gifts, but you have to get me a wedding gift, Michael. It's required. It's part of the job. It's in the job description, Michael. Ha ha, said Michael. <laughs> You're so funny, Vanessa. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Michael. You don't have to get me a wedding gift. Oh, no, I have to get you a wedding gift. I'll go shopping today. I'll get my wife's guidance on this. Okay, good. I know Grace has good taste, too, just like you. Uh, this is great. So when are you coming back? Well, I just put it on the request off book. I hope it was. it is a little short notice. Now, I'll make sure that you get the week off. Do you need the week off? I just need the weekend because we're just going away for the weekend. Okay, as long as you have the weekend off, you're going to be gone. I'll just be gone for Monday. So you'll be off Monday and you'll be back that Tuesday. Right. Yes. We're just going to fly in Monday afternoon. It's not a long trip. It's We, we know that we have work to do. So we decided that the flight arrangements just made it so that we would have, have to fly in on Monday afternoon. Okay, so you'll be off Monday is basically what you said. Yeah, I figured Monday is a slow day. So, well, no, Monday's not really a slow day, but there's no such thing as a slow day, said Vanessa. Just remember my name change and everything is going to be all corrected eventually. Okay, I'll get that. I'll get the hang of this. Okay, sounds great. I'm glad I had a chance to talk to you about this because I didn't know when the time was right. But now that I have the chance to tell you all this, now that I actually sat down and talked to you, I know you being busy, I didn't have a chance to tell anybody what was going on. Let me see your engagement ring. Oh, that's beautiful, Vanessa. Wow. He must be really a nice guy. He is a nice guy and he has a decent job. That's that's great. He's a teacher. He's a teacher at St. John's School. Oh, really? He's a teacher at St. John's. That's where my kids go. Yeah, he's a sixth grade science teacher. He might teach my son. That's my son's favorite school. And it's his favorite. Well, it's not just his favorite school, but it's his favorite teacher. That must be uh, Mr. Miller. Yeah, that's my, that's the school. That's the teacher. That's that's, oh my gosh, that must be my son's favorite teacher because he said science is his favorite class. Does he teach sixth grade science? Yeah, he does. Oh, wow. Small world. I can't believe that. That's excellent. I can't wait to hear more. When you have a chance, tell me more, okay? Okay. I got to get back to work, said Vanessa. You know the boss, how he gets, oh, I know. I am the boss, I, Vanessa, <laughs> Michael to Vanessa. Oh, okay. That's right. You are the boss. I forgot <laughs> for a moment. That's right. Okay, Vanessa, congratulations again. Everybody claps for Vanessa. Congratulations, Vanessa, says Lisa. Congratulations, says Michael Carrington. Finally, you're getting hitched. Yeah, finally, said Vanessa. Finally, congratulations, said Stephen. Congratulations. As Vanessa leaves the office, they're all really excited for Vanessa. She's been single for a long time. Well, not single, but attached. This is great news. I got to go home and tell my wife. Well, you go home and tell your wife. Tell her the good news. I don't know what kind of wedding gift I'm going to get her, but we'll find something, something nice. As Michael leaves the office, he realizes he has to get Vanessa a really nice wedding gift. Something really special, something really cute and sweet for the new newlyweds. As Michael leaves the office out of the exit door, he gets in the car. 
and he contemplates how many people have gotten married. It's a really wonderful thing.